morning. Welcome to day nine. Uh, that was amazing sleep. I haven't been able to sleep like that in. Now we can go take a cold shower. So unfortunately, a cold caller that I was gonna bring on just barely quit on me. Luckily, I didn't go through trainings and all I did was like a quick interview, but man, I was looking forward to bringing her on and maybe it's a good sign saying that we weren't gonna be a good fit, but you know, obviously it wasn't a good fit. It's not a good fit for her, but maybe it just wasn't, it wasn't gonna be good anyway. So I look forward to hopefully getting a new one today. <laughs> so I'm still hiring for a cold caller and I need to get that going. Let's do it. Man, the internet here is crazy. Look at this. It got 367 and 370 megabytes per second. Upload and download speed. That's crazy to me. The lot, my house, we had like 20 upload and, or 20 download and like nothing for upload. I'm gonna upload some videos. Oh, it's a wet one tonight. It's gonna be cold and wet. So I hope I don't have any deliveries where I have to walk forever. Now that I said that, I'm gonna get deliveries like that. Whatever, we're making money. That's all that ma matters anyways. We can go anywhere. I don't care about the cold. Yes, I do. I'm already turning into a southerner. I can't even deal with cold. I mean, what temperature is it? It's 52 degrees. <laughs> all right, maybe I've already adapted because it's 52 degrees outside and it feels freezing. Probably because I've been sitting in a 70 degree house all day. I cannot tell you how excited I am right now just to make some money. I don't know. All of a sudden I'm out here wanting to make some money. That's what we're doing. We're gonna drive around, deliver stuff. So then we get paid, hopefully $30 an hour. And I got priority access. DoorDash is giving me priority because I'm a good dang drill delivery driver. That's right. Hopefully we get some high paying orders tonight. I think we got an extra $2.50 bonus right now. So I believe we'll be able to hit this 200 tonight. I wanna make up for yesterday. So maybe like 225, push it to 250. I don't know. Make 250 in five and a half hours. Yeah, I don't know if I'm at that one. Maybe, maybe I'll work six hours, six and seven hours maybe. We'll see. I love the opportunities though. Let's go get this order, huh? So off the bat, we already got a double order and I believe the McDonald's one is pretty close. And then we got some Taco Bell which took forever. Luckily, McDonald's one was already ready when I got there. Hopefully, this order is nice and quick. Just like that, a half mile down the road, we picked up an order. So uh, apparently my door is open. There we go. My guy made me, gave me a $6.50 tip. Made me a $13.50, $13.50, if you can get what I mean, just for that order. Most of it was, well, I guess not most of it, but the thing that pushed it over was the tip. And uh, so that was pretty good delivery. It did go outside of where I wanted to, where around the airport. And I want to get out of here. I don't like the deliveries over here. I like to get down to downtown. I just maybe got to go to Brentwood. I might have to put my orders there. For some reason, my phone map keeps bringing me to the middle of nowhere for certain places. Like Krispy Kreme is right in front of me and it's bringing me out in the middle of nowhere to a neighborhood. And it did this last time where it's pointing me in a direction that was 10 minutes away or more of the actual location I had to be at. So it was frustrating because it really brought me to the middle of nowhere and then I had to circle around back where I came from. Now it's doing it again. I literally just passed the Krispy Kreme and it made me it's making me go somewhere else. And it's not like to the customer's house either. It's just somewhere random. Then I turn left really onto Nolansville Pike. I hope this order pays decently. I don't remember what it said, but this is gonna be a 20 minute away delivery all the way in Hermitage from like, we're like in downtown Nashville. So I just checked and this order is only gonna be $10. Not really a big order on this one or a big pay on this order because it's gonna be super far away and I'm gonna have to drive all the way back. It's a sucky thing because then you, if you decline the orders, you get penalized too. Probably should decline this one and look at it. Man, we are not having a good night. So I just got my summary for the current dash. We got $38 in two hours and 16 minutes. So I'm making like $16 an hour before expenses. Not great, not great at all. Yeah, at this rate, I would not be even be able to make freaking, I wouldn't be able to make $200 a day. Not even close, I think I missed my turn though. 
So we're gonna try it in this Hermitage area because there's an extra 350 per order. The reason that is is because there's not enough drivers, I believe, or there's just not enough activity and they're being generous. I think that's probably more the reason because it says it's not even busy, but they're adding the extra 350. So we're gonna see if we can still make some good money. Try it out, risking it for the biscuit. All right, so what I'm gonna do, because we're not getting a quick order, I'm gonna stay here for five minutes, and if we don't get an order, I'm going to Brentwood. That's about 20 minutes away. <laughs> oh man, we're missing out tonight. I at least gotta make, hopefully, 80, 90 dollars to hit my 140, 150. That way, I'll make a thousand this week. I was trying to make $200 a day so that we hit like 1400 and then it's like we did really good. And in case we had really bad days like this, then we could slack a little bit. But I believe, you know, Friday, Saturday, maybe even Thursday, we'll pick up. We'll have better odds of getting stuff done. All right, well, of course I say that and we just get a Wendy's order, which hopefully quick. All right, so I just discovered some of the dumbest systems. So apparently I didn't go up to the, like put in the order. And then they, I went up right to the window because I kind of was cutting through the line and then I still had to wait like forever. But because I didn't have to put in the order, I'm not gonna wait behind another three cars. And I figured it's a DoorDash order. They should already have it in the system, right? Every other order I go to is already working on the order. And apparently she said she didn't get it and she doesn't get it in the system until I go through the drive-thru which makes no sense at all why wouldn't they already be working on the order like it just doesn't make sense to me like if I already approved that I'm coming and everything I don't know well uh we're gonna take a huge loss tonight so so apparently the Taco Bell requires ID you have to be 21 and over after 10 p.m super interesting luckily I'm in DoorDash so they're like okay like they understand like you can go in and get the stuff, but I've never heard that before, where you have a Taco Bell that IDs at 10 p.m. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so that last order, we're finishing it out over to an actual a, a truck driver at Home Depot. Both were just the same place for pizza orders, and now I'm about 10 minutes away from where I'm staying. So yeah, now I'm gonna head back. We made out $120 today, so it was not close at all. And I would have to literally work like I, w I wouldn't even be able to make I think another eighty dollars, fortunately. So I didn't even hit one hundred forty or one hundred fifty, but we crossed over a hundred. So it, uh, that's that's getting somewhere. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna go home and I'll wrap you guys up.